Hi everyone, it's John from Multico. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about a project we've just completed over in Rugby. Uh, we've been working on this one for past year on and off. Uh, this one is basically a barn conversion. Uh, there was existing uh, foundations here before, just a shell, uh, and the custom has basically converted it into a three bedroom property. Uh, we've done a lot of work down here. We've done uh, all the electrical work, uh, additional security, uh, outside lighting, uh, client jester, uh, CCTV, Wi-Fi points, we've literally done the whole thing from start to finish. I uh, just wanted to quickly show you what we've been doing, uh, take a quick tour around the property and uh, see what you think. Right, and Hickvision CCTV, this is the utility room where everything's going to be housed, uh, just in here. The idea being, because it's a, a bungalow, a barn conversion, uh, we've had to hide everything inside this cupboard here. We've got two fuse boards, we've got our remote switch in for the outside lights, and that's using an easy switch system. Uh, so the PIR switch on, I don't think it's on the screen, like the barn over here, we've got external lights, and they can be manually operated as well via the remote. Uh, CCTV, we've just installed four cameras at the moment. There's expansion for another uh, four cameras on top of that, so we've got eight channels in total. We're gonna be looking at putting a, another couple of cameras over here once the stables are complete and then once again up in onto the uh, side of the garage up here. Uh, we've also got spare cables up to the front of the building which you probably can't see but up on here to do a, a wireless bridge line of sight using Ubiquiti. We're going to be doing that from point to point so we haven't actually got to run any uh, data infrastructure uh, network cabling there. So let me give you a quick tour around. As you can see, they've uh, decided to keep all the oak beams as much uh, as the original part of the building as they could. This is the actual original part of the, the barn just here. And as we go to our right, it's going to be the living area slash kitchen diner. As you can see, it's come along really nicely. We've done uh, the industrial look here with uh, traditional fittings like this with some uh, galvanized conduit. Uh, up on the walls there again as well. And also on the ceiling, we've gone for quite a traditional look, keeping it nice and cozy for the barn feel. Let's uh, bring you through into one of the bedrooms. As you can see it's quite bare at the moment, obviously there's no furniture in but we've got two lights going either side of the bed. Uh, we've got quite a unique fit in here, what the customer's chosen to keep that industrial look, made out of uh, galvanised conduit once again. Fittings on there, uh, gone for a bare brick on this wall so again galvanised conduit dropped down the wall, uh, just adds to that aesthetic. started we've got the uh, second bedroom as you can see it's uh, a nice size room come for a traditional black styled lighting adjustable spots uh, again on the dimmer using the click mode dimmers so we can dim anything down through here to our left we've got the first bathroom through into the master suite. Let me just turn these lights up so we can see what's going on. Again, the same light fitness, you have a bedroom, three down lighters, we've got a TV point there, another access point up on the ceiling, uh, either side of the bed, etc. We've got a nice warm light fitting. And the idea being we can switch everything from either side of the room, like you would in a hotel style, so you can turn all the lights and off from either side of the bed vice versa and then here we have the final room which is the ensuite right then we'll just take a quick walk over to the uh, garage uh, it's quite basic inside here just quickly show you inside just added uh, for rental purposes, we've added in a couple of sockets down each side. Uh, again, down there, we've got some vapor-proof fittings up there on the top. Uh, just in case whoever rents the property uh, is into his cars, the horses, etc., they've got somewhere to uh, uh, store their equipment. And a little consumer unit just there with the easy switch up here, controlling all the outside lighting. There's outside floods and there's up-down wall lighters. Uh, that come on as soon as it gets dusk. 
enjoyed the little tour around uh, the recent project in rugby. Uh, thank you.